In his thought-provoking introduction to contemporary Japanese thought, Richard Kalikman clarifies that the book does not aim for a comprehensive survey. Instead, the selected writings are primarily organized along two axes. Essays with a strong emphasis on gender critique and those linking philosophy directly to political practice. Many pieces in the collection explore the contingent and fluid nature of any potential definition of Japanese thought, reflecting a tendency to be more conscious of its unsublatable, unsubsumable internal differences, and hence more receptive to the event of alterity. In essence, the volume presents a version of Japanese thought when national identity remains an open question, rather than a pre-existing ground. Some of the contributors are already familiar to English-speaking readers, such as literary critic and theorist Karatani Kojin, who offers critiques of the overcoming modernity debate, and a philosophical reading of Natsum Saseki's novel Kokoro. Other contributors, like philosopher Takahashi Tatsuya and political theorist Kang Sangjing, may be less known outside Japan. Takahashi engages in a late 1990s debate with revisionist literary historian Kato Norihiro, addressing claims of a distorted post-war Japanese cultural history, and exposing them as instances of a neo-nationalism, incapable of acknowledging Japan's history of violence against Asia. Kang Sangjing focuses on Japan's Asian Empire history, and its erasure from post-war historical memory. While the entire collection is strong, certain pieces stand out. The Wonderland of Immortality by Nishitani Osamu, a specialist in French literature, provides a brilliant analysis of contemporary developments in medical technology affecting death. Nishitani delves into organ transplantation, changing definitions of brain death and the advocacy of euthanasia, arguing that when death becomes diffused, it raises fundamental questions about human existence. Invoking Hegel, Heidegger, Bataille, Freud, and Blanchett, Nishitani's essay exemplifies how philosophical discourse can be fruitfully linked to current social and political debates. Naoki Sakai's Two Negations The fear of being excluded and the logic of self-esteem is another noteworthy piece in the collection. Sakai presents a critique of Kyoto School philosopher Tanib Hajim's Logic of Species, revealing a mechanism where domestic colonial violence against minorities within a nation is displaced onto nationalism's aggressivity, and externalized into military violence against the nation's enemies. This logic is traced through various instances, including Japanese language fiction published by Taiwanese colonial subjects in the early 1940s, John Okada's novel No No Boy, depicting Japanese Americans post-World War II, and the present-day United States, in the context of the War on Terror. Sociologist Ihara Yumiko contributes a gender-oriented critique of Marayama Masao's political thought, revealing how modernizationist universalism and the theory of Japanese particularity, can erase the specific experiences of women. Another essay by Ihara explores teasing as a political technology for silencing dissent, especially targeting Japanese feminism. Sociologist Uno Chizuko examines reverse orientalism in Japanese intellectual discourse, and its impact on feminism in one piece while the other traces the changing representations and practices of motherhood in Japan. The volume concludes with two essays by French studies specialist Yukai Satoshi.
The first provides a compelling theorization of the complex relationship between colonialism and modernity, re-evaluating Takeuchi Yoshimi's thought. Yukai's second essay employs Walter Benjamin's notion of historical crisis to analyze recent political struggles over the legal status of the Hinamaru flag and the national anthem, Kimigeo, 